Right. Now, the anonymous street artist Banksy has had a busy week. For five days in a row, he's revealed a new animal mural in London. So let's have a look at some of the first painting to make an appearance was the silhouette of a goat appeared in queue on Monday. And then on Tuesday, it was followed by this image of two elephants touching trunks. That was in Chelsea. And then we had three monkeys hanging from a bridge in Brick Lane, and that drew crowds on Wednesday. Uh, next up, we've got the howling wolf on a satellite dish seen in Peckham. So we're on Thursday now, within hours. That was believed to have been stolen. Now, two pelicans above a fish and chip shop in North East London seem to have finished off the artist's latest creative stunt. I mean, they are very, very clever. Let's talk now with an old friend of Maxie, the gallerist, uh, Steph Warren. Morning to you, Steph. I'm so intrigued by what you make of all these new images. Uh, what's going on? Yeah, good morning. Um, well, I mean, it's it's been a, a busy week, hasn't it, for him? Uh, he's been. Uh, we've had five paintings this week, and and uh, in a in a quite a heavy week for the country. It's been it's been some li nice light relief, hasn't it? Some zoological distraction. Yeah, maybe you can cast your eye because you, you know him. You've worked with him over many many years. Um, maybe you could cast your eye over some of the pictures that we've just had a look at as well. I don't know if you can see them there, but I'm sure you're probably familiar with them anyway. And I th think the first one on our list was the image in Q, uh, wasn't it? The goat. The, which was the goat. Um, yeah. Now, yeah. If, if we can have a look at that now. I mean, when you see that picture, well, what, what do you see? What, what are you thinking? Uh, well, it's a, it's a goat teetering on the edge, isn't it, of something, on a precipice. Um, and I think, you know, that kind of reflects a little where we feel we are, uh, you know, in the world right now, right? And in this country, for sure. OK, and then we've got Tuesday. As you said, they came thick and fast. Two elephants touching trunks. Yeah. This was the picture that we saw in Chelsea. What did you make of that? Yeah, well, uh, just it's a very kind of touching picture, isn't it? It's, um, he's obviously used elephants uh, in the past in his work. He, he had a live one in L.A. for a show, which he painted. Um, but, yeah, I mean, there's one, one goat, two elephants, and then, and then what we've got the next day? Yeah, sorry, L next day monkeys. is the monkeys, monkeys, isn't it? This was the uh, picture in uh, Brick Lane. Uh, yeah, and so, we, as you say, we can sort of see the theme developing. There are three monkeys on this occasion. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um, uh, more uh, sort of zoological animals around London. And then we've got the, two, the Thursday is the howling wolf and then the silhouette of the two pelicans, one eating a fish. Uh, in, this is in Walthamstow, uh, these last ones. So, yeah, I mean, clearly... There is a theme now. I don't pretend for a moment that I, you, we... I suppose that's the joy of it, in a way. We, all, we are all left, one way or another, to think about it and try and work out what's going on. Yeah, absolutely. It's, uh, uh, you know, gets you thinking. It's a discussion and, uh, it, you know, it's a bit of joy in, in the day, isn't it? And, and I'm sure that there'll be... You know, uh, it seems to be uh, a, a, something that's continuing. So let's let's see what happens. You, you, you know, maybe there's more to be revealed. Steph, morning. It's Naga. Um, how? Oh yeah. How, how important is the is the social commentary? I mean, it, there is definitely there, there is definitely social commentary in so much that is done and is put up out there. Yeah. Um... I mean, I think, yeah, it's a big part of his work, isn't it? It's um, draw, drawing attention to a lot of things that that, that need to be um, uh, drawn in attention of, especially like climate change. And um, uh, he's done a lot for Palestine, for example. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, it, I think sometimes, though, a painting can just be a bit of fun, can't it? Mm. It doesn't always have to have a, a heavy message. Do you know so. what? I was reading that one on the satellite dish, which was stolen. It's kind of such a shame, isn't it? Because I do feel... I mean, you'll know this more than a anyone, um, more than me, at least. Um, it's not there for the money, in terms of it's there to kind of, like, be part of society, make a comment, get us talking, and then... When people nick these things, you know, you've heard of people, like, taking blocks of cement off, you know, the sides of walls. It's just a bit sad, isn't it? It is. It, you know, it's, it's supposed to be a transient thing. It's not supposed to be preserved and last forever, I, I don't think, anyway. And um, when people steal it and they're just taking it for their for their own... But that, that happens with art generally, doesn't it? Like, rich people, they take the paintings, they put them away, and then you don't see them again. So I suppose it's just happening in a more 
democratic fashion. I suppose, Steph, you as a gallerist, someone who's involved in the art world, there's something delightful about the fact that it gets people talking. It gets people interested who might not otherwise be just in art and about looking at something and thinking about it. Definitely, definitely. It's opened up... Um, uh, I mean, it, he's spearheaded, I'd say, like, the movement of street art, and he's opened that up um, hugely worldwide and, and got lots of people who wouldn't, wouldn't have thought art had anything to do with their lives... Uh, you know, involved in looking at art and looking at things with a different perspective. Uh, Steph, it's been good talking to you. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me.